This is video of Sydney when she was made the first honorary police chief for St. Charles County. Shortly after being diagnosed when she was just five years old, Sydney had a long battle of a rare form of kidney cancer. Sydney enjoyed that very special ceremony in her honor. She even had a magical visit from Cinderella. Now, three years later, eight year old Sydney, a strong and courageous warrior, passed away on February the 28th after winning a three year battle with cancer. On Saturday, she received full police honors for her funeral. Those who knew her say she touched so many lives. Including my own, you know, being a family member, but you know, she loved motorcycles. We, we did a poker run. She ran every leg of the run on a different motorcycle. Um, and she even had made a statement, you know, she knew she was dying. She knew her time was short. And she was escorted by more than 800 motorcycle riders from six different states who called themselves Sydney soldiers. Sydney's favorite color was purple, and the riders wore headbands in her honor and wore yellow armbands on their left upper arm to honor her. This is also the color that represents childhood cancer. As a motorcycle rider, I decided that I, we just got to get involved with this event. It's just just touched so many hearts. I love how she's brought so many people together in a world when right now we're kind of semi-divided in some areas, and she just brought a whole community of people all across the U.S. and the world together. This ride means everything. Sydney stated at one time she wanted to hear the roar of motorcycles in heaven. My grandfather and me, we saw that we saw her on Facebook. She said that she wanted to hear the bikes go up from heaven. She said, right now, she's definitely going to hear them. In Ellisville, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.